Chapter 1. Check out the Alaskan Malamute. Malamutes are known for their independent nature. They are manipulative, obstinate, willful, and always want to be the boss. You must be consistent when training and interacting with your Malamute. Show her you are the alpha dog, or leader of the pack, with firm commands and strict training. This breed was born to be a serious working dog, and might just be too willful for... This breed was born to be a serious working dog and might just be too much for the average household. You need to have a love for the breed and a willingness to integrate them into your family. We purchased a harness from a dog sled expert for Coda Bear, our Malamute. Her perfect winter life was running up and down sled hills, pulling riders, chasing snowplows, and excitedly begging to keep going and play in deep snow. Get to know your Malamute. 1. Make sure you meet with your Malamute puppy or rescue dog. You will bond with this adorable creature instantly, but do be aware that Malamutes have a range of personalities, and the ancient instincts they were bred with remain. 2. These dogs are not always animal-friendly. If raised together, Malamutes and other animals can get along beautifully, but introduce a strange animal into the mix, and war can break out. Most Malamutes will tolerate a cat in their home, but make sure your Malamute will not pick up the cat and try to bury it. I once watched my Coda bear corner the neighbor's cat, pick it up by the head, and put it in a previously dug hole. Malamutes are notorious for digging and burying what they consider their prey. The cat ran away spitting and snarling, but unharmed. 3. Very rarely will you hear your Malamute bark, and if you hear them howl, you know that they are warning you of something strange. Malamutes woo-woo, and it is rumored that Chewbacca of Star Wars fame's voice was patterned after the Malamute. 4. Malamutes are much larger than huskies. They look like baby bears when they are young, but can grow to as much as 130 pounds, although the average is about 70 pounds for a female. My Malamute was considered a giant breed at 130 pounds, and she was an expert at playing tug-of-war. I often saw her on the back lawn, pulling the kids around in their form of tug-of-war. 5. The breed makes excellent family dogs if you have the room to run with them and keep them exercised. They are pack animals, and it takes training to keep them under control. You need to show your Malamute who is the alpha member of the pack from the very beginning. 6. Malamutes are loving and friendly. They believe that everyone is their friend. Their overly friendly nature makes them poor watchdogs. To a Malamute, the world is their oyster, and they will lead a burglar to the family jewels rather than protect your property. Note, however, that their very size and wolf-like features are usually deterrent enough. Malamutes love to be the family pet, but can also be very jealous. You will find that your Malamute does not have a fawning, submissive nature. They are independent and free-willed, and can make a troublesome pet. Their very personalities make them a challenge, but this makes them exciting. 7. Malamutes are diggers, and if you let them, they will help you landscape your yard. They dig holes in gardens and flower beds, lie on plants, and just sit where they want in the backyard. I trained my Malamute to dig holes for plants as I was digging. We had a great time until she decided just to dig wherever she wanted. I purchased jars of red pepper and spread it around newly planted flowers and shrubs. The red pepper was the only way to keep Coda from digging up the plants and putting them in different holes around the yard. Research the breed. Check out the American Kennel Club, AKC, and other sites for information about temperament, care, and the behaviors of Malamutes. Talk to a vet or breeder about the proper care and breeding for this dog. Seek out a reputable source of canine information from other Malamute owners. 1. The internet is the perfect place to do research about dog breeds. 1. The internet is the perfect place to do research about dog breeds. Look at the pictures, read the content, and send off an email or a phone call to the breeders if you have questions. Don't jump at the first Malamute you see, but keep an open mind about different mixed or rescue dogs. 2. Think about why you want a Malamute. I originally purchased my puppy because she was cute, cuddly, and very soft. I quickly learned that she was all those things, but had a definite agenda all her own. Malamutes are extremely intelligent and need constant incentives. 3. 
They need daily exercise and mental stimulation. If you forget to give them something to do, they will rip your home apart. Watch Snow Dogs with Cuba Gooding Jr. There is a scene in the movie where the Malamutes are bored and decide to pull apart the blankets and destroy the house. While the scene is funny, if this happened in your home, you probably wouldn't laugh. Lifestyle changes with a puppy. A new puppy is like a new baby. They cry at night. Fortunately, a Malamute puppy will quickly learn that they are safe and secure, but for a few days, or maybe a couple of weeks, you will be sleepless. Things will be easier if you put your life and your Malamute puppy on a strict schedule. Puppies need walks, playtime, attention, feeding, bathing, and training. Your social life may suffer when you have a new puppy. Your relationship partner, hopefully they love dogs, will quickly need to understand that they are no longer first in your life. A puppy's life. The world for a puppy is captivating. She is seeing it for the first time and must inspect everything. Puppies use their mouths to discover the world around them. They think everything is either something to play with or something to eat. A puppy will inescapably be attracted to the things she should not play with, like electrical cords, the wood on your chairs, or your yummy new running shoes. To keep your puppy out of certain rooms, install a baby gate and keep it closed. You will no longer have the freedom of walking into this room. You will have to jump over a gate, but this is for the protection of your new best friend. You might want to keep doors to certain rooms closed. You will have to watch when you go in and out of closed doors to ensure your Malamute puppy does not follow. Beware of puppy puddles and accidents that will occur with annoying regularity. Prepare yourself with plenty of cleanup rags. You might want to restrict the puppy to areas of your home that are not carpeted. You will need to exercise your Malamute pup as much as you can. Take her out for daily walks, go to dog parks, instigate a game of tug of war, and teach your puppy to fetch. Let her run off the leash when possible. Keep a basket of toys available, especially if you don't have a large yard. Malamutes without space to run and romp can become bored quickly. A basket of doggy toys filled with chews, rubbery toys, and bones will teach your puppy to entertain herself. Make sure the toys are sturdy. Malamutes have strong teeth and jaws and tend to rip things apart. Rearrange your furniture as close to the walls as possible. Leave open pathways in every room. Place food and water in quiet areas and teach your dog not to whine and woo-woo while you are away. Keep the blinds open to let your Malamute have a view of the outside. A piece of advice. A Malamute puppy is not a good apartment dog. They shed, need lots of exercise, and love to chew. Outside puppies. Outside puppies need watching to make sure they have healthy, natural diets, plus plenty of water. You will need to brush them regularly to check for ticks and mites. Sometimes outside dogs, even Malamutes, need more baths than city-dwelling puppies. They tend to roll in unsavory ground contents. Worms or intestinal parasites tend to bother outside dogs. Use heartworm and other worm preventative treatments as prescribed. Make sure you keep outside dogs away from pesticides and herbicides. Living in the country or having a big yard is a necessary bonus for a Malamute puppy. Outdoor living is a healthier and more natural lifestyle for this dog breed. Still, you need to keep them entertained or they will dig holes all over your yard. Provide a basket of toys outside and do keep the holes under fences filled in so your puppy does not run away. Before you take your Malamute home, arrange a spot for your new fluffy puppy. A Malamute puppy will grow into a large dog, and you need to purchase a sizable dog kennel that is designed for bigger dogs. Create an area in your home that is just for your puppy. Use your kitchen, laundry room, or a den that is quiet and confined. A secluded room gives your puppy a limited area to explore, and a place to feel safe. It also gives you a restricted area to clean up after your puppy. Secure this area and make it safe for your puppy. Get rid of hanging items such as wires or blind cords that the puppy may chew. Remove knickknacks you don't want to be broken. Make sure there is nothing in the space you don't want chewed, scratched, or soiled. Lay down newspapers or puppy pads to give your puppy a place to relieve himself. These can be easily thrown away and will give your puppy an idea of where to eliminate. Crate training is a very powerful method of working with a puppy. 
If you must leave the puppy during the day and don't have someone to look after her, then crate training is the best puppy sitter you can purchase. Choose the correct size of a portable kennel for your puppy to accommodate their growth. Wire crates are best because the dog can easily see everything around them. Seeing outside their den helps them feel comfortable and secure. Puppies quickly get used to being in a dog kennel and will learn to look at their crate as their den. Crates quickly become their own little private space. Provide your new little puppy with bedding and other supplies that allow for a comfortable and safe sleep. Dogs, and particularly puppies, suffer stress. Provide your new little puppy with bedding and other supplies that allow for a comfortable and safe sleep. Dogs, and particularly puppies, suffer stress, just like you do. When you bring a puppy home to a new place, this little guy will be tired and stressed. He needs a soft place to sleep. Puppies love to chew. It is an excellent idea to provide chew toys that are made especially for puppies. Rope toys are great, and hard rubber toys are perfect. Purchase a collar and leash that is the correct size for your puppy. You will probably have to buy different collars as your dog grows. Use a 2-4 to four foot leash for training and teaching your puppy to walk along with you.